I'm happy to be able to take you through this creative color grading look pack we've named Rosemary. We've created a bunch of 3D LUT profiles based on a lifted blacks look that go through a wide variety of hue transformations. Now, we've named them all after herbs and spices as a little nod to all the flavors you're gonna find in this pack. Now, once again, all these profiles live equally in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm gonna be working on the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. Let's open up the first image and see what these looks do. This image comes in nicely balanced already. I'm really happy with it and I wanna go straight into exploration mode. So my uh, profile browser here may look a little bit different than yours because I've cleaned it up to simplify the uh, categories a bit. I've got my base color favorited here so I can always see before and after. And here's my RGG Rosemary grading set. First thing, I'm gonna click on a look. Sage starts us out with lifted blacks, somewhat saturated greens and reds, and a deeper, more lush look overall. Moving on to mint, that pushes the greens in a much cooler, lighter direction. Mustard is really cool. That's taking the greens and making them more yellow, plugging up the blacks even more, and even lifting them a bit with a little bit of purple. Cumin, even more desaturation in the greens. Cardamom starts to step off the path into a much more fantasy art style direction. Cayenne pushes that even further. We're getting a great conversation between the color of the hair and all the grass that's turned now pretty hot magenta. Lavender into the purple. Paprika tones that down a bit. Tarragon does a really nice split tone with some greens in the blacks. And finally, time brings it back to a much more highly saturated yet realistic color spectrum. Now, out of all of these, I think the one I'm feeling the most is the third one, mustard. Now, that has a really nice, subtle purple in all the shadows, and it's crushing the blacks. And now, what I mean by a crushed black is that I've taken the dark areas of the image and compressed those tonal ranges together. So usually, we want to maintain as much detail as we can, but it's important to keep in mind that a good crushed black is essential to a lot of different looks. So I like really what's uh, happening in the uh, in the grass here. It's really it's really moved out of the scene as, as the main player. And I, th I think a lot of the focus is now turned to her hair and her skin because that's really the pop color of this entire thing. It's, I'd say, a good split between yellow and blue dominant. We might even decide to reduce some of the saturation in the sky there to reduce the hue variability in the image, but right now, um, I really know what I'm looking at because I have a strong central color right in the middle of the scene. So I'm gonna dial the look back just a touch. I find myself doing this pretty often. I can see what the look's doing. Just wanna lighten it a bit to bring it back into uh, the realistic. Let's just take a look at before and after. Really cool, we've created a huge story there with just one click of our profile. I'm gonna close that out. And I just wanna reduce the blues back here because that hue is just not working for me, and it's kind of saturated, especially in the horizon here. I just want to reduce that distraction because I've got control over all the hues in here. They're all intentional moves, but this is unintentional. It was just in the image by chance, and I want to be able to control all aspects of the hue range in here. I'm going to reduce the blues down and see how that simplifies our color harmony. So this is how it works on an image that wasn't even a raw to begin with, but I'm still loving the flexibility and control of all the adjustments in camera raw. Now, the next image I'm gonna use is actually a raw file. I'm gonna exit out of here, open that up, and we'll see how these looks apply to that raw file. So this next image opens right up into camera raw, and I think it's maybe a little overexposed. I'm gonna drop it down just a bit and also open those shadows up. That's a good balance, took me two seconds. I just wanna start from a good place. I'm gonna click on the profile browser. Let's go into Rosemary. Really quickly run through these looks. Not much of a shift there. You see 
rosemary actually works a lot on the grains. And all you can see is a little blue shift there. Mustard. There's a lot of purple going into the darks. Cumin flattens that out a bit. Cardamom introduces some red into the grains of the bush. Cayenne with a much more warm shift. Lavender does what it says. Bring some purple into the scene. Paprika mellows that out. Tarragon does a really strong treatment to the darks. And also thyme punches a lot of purple in there. So I'm gonna go with cumin on this one because one of the things I'm noticing is that took the uh, color of the suit and this foliage into a closer hue range. So there's a little bit more of a conversation. This is probably what the photographer intended when they were setting up the shot. So I'm paying attention to those elements that they might have wanted to um, use as tools in the story and seeing if I can enhance those or solidify those with some color choices. I think overall though, this is still slightly too much. It's nice because I can see exactly what's going on with the look, but I'm just gonna dial it back a bit. Now, this look is relatively conservative, but you look at the change that's happened. There's a huge story that's been created with this profile. Now I think of a shot like this that's uh, more in a contemporary uh, fashion magazine. And a lot of the vocabulary in those images are dealing with desaturated hues and unusual unexpected color harmonies. And I think that's what this look really does a good job of achieving while still keeping everything within the real space is shifting things in a way that's giving it an added story and not distracting from the content. And that's been a look at using Rosemary in the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. So you've seen on two very different images, all the different varieties of things I was able to see using these profiles. I can't wait to see what you do with them. Mm -hmm.